Hey guys, Alex here. Today we're gonna dive into PI, planetary interaction. This is a Omega activity. Uh, the skills that you need are under planet management. Uh, I've gone for command center upgrades 4, planet orgy 3, remote sensing 4, and interplanetary consolidation 3. Basically, uh, this allows me to use four plants. Uh, this gives me better results when I am looking for plants. This um, increases the accuracy of uh, my scans on the plants, and this uh, gives me more power grid and CPU for my command center. So, we're gonna need uh, these skills. I recommend having them. It's not a long train, so. These are the skills. The ship that you need to do PI is the Epithol. Um, it has a special planetary commodities hold, so you can hold um, planetary products, right? Planetary resources. It also has bonuses to that, right? A 10% bonus to ship. Planetary commodity hold capacity for every level in Gaente Industrial. Let's go ahead and uh, fill it up because I also I also wanted to be able to hold a uh, command center because that's what you need to drop on the planet in order to set up your colony, a command center, right? So and that takes a thousand cubic meters. So we need to do some uh, modifications to our ship in order to be able to carry a thousand cubic meters in the cargo hold so under hull and armor we are looking for expanded cargo holds i guess we can do three of these and uh, or we can grab a rig from astronautic rigs which is the cargo hold optimization which will get us to a thousand so that frees up a slot in here and right now we are 11 12 seconds line time so let me see if i can um, decrease that and still under hole upgrades i guess nanofibers I'm going to 10 from 12, that's not bad, and this is 9 second line time. These nanofibers, by the way, they decrease your shield. That's the drawback of using nanofibers on your ship, so you're losing a bit of EHP. But that can be solved with a few mid slots. Let's see. Uh, so tech 2 will give me 4.6 and this will give me 4.3 i guess we're gonna go with the compact versions just so that we uh, have some stuff over here left over so we can fit some rigs in the ship as well these will increase my signature radius but yeah it's all right an adaptive i guess and let's see what other rigs some more shields yeah we can slap some more shield on our ship we are eight nine seconds line so we can go either more more shield or maybe can i get it even lower on the align time so now it's eight and nope so I cannot go uh, less than 8 seconds so I guess we're gonna have to take that and we are gonna go with a defense field extender so yeah, a good balance for our ship and let's go ahead and buy this stuff and fill it on our ship we already have an epithole so drop this from here click buy and then click fit ship yes and there we go that's our ship fitted for traveling now what do i want to build if we take a look at alice's pi scheme 
basically the way I see it, you have two options. You can go personal profit or you can help out the process uh, of, uh, say, making uh, ships or um, uh, making fuel uh, in your uh, alliance or corp. So, yeah, if you're going the route of personal profit, what you can do is go into EVE Marketer and go under uh, manufacture and research yeah materials here planetary materials and you can take a look at all of these basically what you're trying to make right so let's say you are looking for refined p2 what's the best stuff out of this that you can extract from plants so you can go here into refined and yeah you can take a look at nanites for example and see what people are paying for nanites or mechanical parts so you can identify a good product for yourself but me for one i've did a bit of studying ahead of this and i would like to build consumer electronics because if we take a look at consumer electronics in here on, a, on the info tab under industry yeah it goes into a lot of things missiles uh, station rigs um, space uh, ship rigs uh, uh, tech two ships so consumer electronics is yeah something uh, on high demand in my opinion so i'm gonna go ahead and make this set up a plan for consumer electronics and it's under p2 refined it uses um, toxic metals and shadow structures uh, which come out of heavy metals and non-cs crystals which by the looks of things uh, come from two plants um, either plasma or lava so we are looking for a lava or a plasma plant around okay so how do you do that you go to the agency you can pick like uh, any distance in here right and any sec if you are brave enough to go to low or no sec by all means or you can stick to high security on the filters but i will look for a low sec system i guess because the resources are a bit better than high sec cause, yeah everybody does pi on high sec planets right um just so I don't forget, another useful skill if you are doing uh, PI in high sec is customs uh, code expertise. This um, basically shaves 10% uh, per level on the tax on the customs uh, uh, customs offices because every plant has a customs office next to it. You're going to use the customs office to get your resources out of the plant and you're going to pay a tax. And that tax is uh, down to either the faction, uh, if you are talking about HiSec, either the faction that owns the space, or if you're talking low or NUSEC, the corporation or alliance or the player that owns that uh, particular customs code, because they can set up a ridiculous tax on that if they want to so you need to pay attention but this only applies for high sec and uh, npc owned um, customs uh, offices but let's go back and take a look where we can find a lava or plasma plant so heck we are looking for uh, heavy metals and non-cs crystals so not a lot of non-cs over there it's looking a bit better oh, there we go low sec two jumps away miroitum okay this is gonna be interesting what uh, i can do to do some to take some safety measures i guess for uh, going in there is i can go to if gate check and yeah i've already inputted the route in here right so we are traveling from heck to miroitum this is our waypoint um we prefer the shortest route of course it's going to be just uh, a few jumps and let's go ahead and check 
and it tells us two kills at the Ransor gate but we are coming from O2 so yeah we might be safe but there we go there's uh, there's activity there's pvp activity in miroitam i'm guessing yeah it is the weekend so more people online right so more pvp activity you can pick a um you can pick a um, weekday like monday tuesday something like that uh, actually go into low sec but this right here is a good tool to, to check activity and systems, right? And to, to know if it's safe for you to go there or not. I will take my chances, I guess. Because basically, uh, the two most dangerous times when you are setting up a PI in a low sec or a no sec system are when you go there to drop your command center on a planet and when you go there to collect your resources. Because after you've dropped your command center, you can um, go ahead in high sec and start setting stuff up. You can also uh, do maintenance on your planet from anywhere within space. So, yeah. And then, of course, when you go collecting the resources, because you actually have to go to the planet itself and pick stuff up, right, with your hauler. So, yeah, you need to take care for those. But let's go ahead and uh, what did we find? It was a lava planet, if I'm not mistaken. No, a plasma planet. So let's go ahead and buy ourselves a plasma command center. In station, 90,000 disk. There we go. Buy one. Not too expensive. So, so far we've spent like what? A few million. Let's see exactly what we spent. 110 yeah maybe about uh, 20 million esque uh, in uh, in the ship itself and the command center let's open the ship up and put the command center in the cargo hold and of course let's set our destination to miratum this one also looks all right lamadent has plenty of non cs and heavy so yeah let's it's two jumps let's input it in here and see from heck to lamadent maybe it's safer than miratum who knows check yeah it looks better than miratum actually yeah more heavy metals and more non more non CS crystals. But now we have the wrong command center. No problem. Not a big deal. It wasn't that expensive. So let's buy a lava. Maybe this will come in handy uh, doing some other stuff. I don't know. Maybe I'll sell it. Who cares? It's not that expensive. And back in here to set the route. So it was Lamadent set destination. We are looking for the lava plant. Right. Okay. Undock. And let's go. Going through O2. So we are going to do two jumps. The best way for me to do this, but I don't want to make it into a very long clip, is to actually set up a purchase at the gates uh, through LOSEC, right? That wouldn't be a bad idea. And also save spots in the system. Game's a bit laggy. Look at this charm. And let's go into auto. Or, you know what, guys? Um, yeah, let's do this the correct way, right? Let me show you the actual process. You might be interested in that. So let's, let's be thorough about it, right? <laughs> I'm going to take a Corvette into auto, right? I'm 
on the route and I will um, set up the safe set up the safety spots uh, in the systems and then I can come back here and hack and grab my ship and deploy my command center because yeah sometimes I guess I'm confident that uh, probably I won't die and I don't really care that much if I die uh, but yeah sometimes overconfidence can kill you so let's go ahead and uh, set this up properly it's also something that uh, might help uh, uh, with your navigation through uh, and for other stuff like for contracts and uh, maybe exploration if you have a preset route and stuff like that so i don't like the looks of these reapers by the way that are sitting around the gate here these guys can be scouts they can basically be reporting to people in o2 hey there's a industrial ship coming through so let's see there's plenty of people in local there's also a flashing person there's a cheetah in here which can kill us so let's see what the cheetah is doing okay he jumped out so what i'm gonna do now is i'm going to point my corvette away from the gate i'm gonna punch my micro warp drive actually after burner <laughs> It's not gonna be fast, but here's hoping I won't get blasted by these rats. But yeah, I will probably get blasted by these rats. Might need to warp out, I don't know. Just uh, holding here on the sun. So yeah, they are missing us, actually. <laughs> we have enough speed and uh, a small enough ship so that they are actually missing our ship that's kind of cute <laughs> i guess we want to look for um, 200 kilometers here you can come in something faster i guess but uh, why a corvette because if i lose a corvette whatever you know it's it's free i can always get another one we're slowly, slowly, slowly making the distance. I'm looking. Why I'm looking for 200 kilometers? Well, um, basically, I need the bookmark right away from the gate, so I can scout the gate from the bookmark. And it's also out of micro jump drive range because the micro jump drive can um, can jump a ship 100 kilometers from one point to another. So I want to stay away from the micro jump drive range. That's why I picked the 200 kilometer mark. And it also allows me to warp from that bookmark to the gate. Like the minimum distance for you to warp from one thing to another is 150 kilometers. But yeah, I'm, uh, I'm going to take 200 for this. And yeah, the perch is going to end up somewhere over here maybe. Or I don't know, we'll see. Well, I'm taking damage now. So, yeah. These rats are actually screwing with my plan. Game's a bit laggy. Maybe I can show you this uh, on the next gate. Maybe we can do this on the next gate, I guess. We're also going to need a perch on this gate. Because we're traveling two low sex systems, so... There's plenty of gates to check. We can make a safe spot in the system, by the way, because we are working towards the sun. So now we also have a, a safe spot in the system. Right. And there's still seven, six in local, seven including me. So let's pop the D-scan and see if we can catch any ships or something like that on it. All right, nothing. Yeah, let's approach the other gate uh, okay where is it should be highlighted in space the lamadent gate that's what i'm looking for Miroitum. well that's weird where is the lamadent gate interesting okay no problem uh we will warp this within a hundred here's hoping there's nobody on the gate <laughs> and I don't get blasted but a hundred should be enough 
stay out of the range and maybe get away before they tackle us if there's somebody there and where is that Lamadan gate oh i see ah there it is so i wasn't zooming properly basically what i was looking for was a celestial object near the gate which there is where there 200 kilometers okay so we can make a, our perch and this is for the llama dent gate right so we're gonna name it perch llama dent to personal locations and if we stop our ship using control space let's approach our perch and i'll show you that you can warp right so we are here uh, at 200 kilometers away from the gate we can see if there's any gate campers over here right so if there's nothing there we just select the gate and we have the option to warp to it on zero and then jump this is a good safety precaution to have when you're traveling uh, especially when you have an established route which i will have because i will be doing uh, planetary interaction right in, uh, in this system, so I will need these perches. Okay, there's two guys in local over here, and there's another rat that might uh, might screw with our plans to make a perch uh, here for the auto gate. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to look for a celestial to bounce to and then warp on the gate on a hundred, right? So yeah, there's a deposit here. Let's warp to this deposit a hundred kilometers. It will save us a bit of uh, travel time. Okay. And now we have our second perch. This one is towards O2, so let's name it Perch O2, submit, and now we can warp to the gate on zero, and travel back to Heck to get our Epithal, and actually get to doing some uh, PI, but still, we still have one more Perch to do, and that is on the gate to Heck. This can also be dangerous, like there could be ships here, there could be a gate camp here, so what I advise you to do, uh, especially if you're in a, a slow ship to warp out, a slow line time, so an industrial ship for example, uh, is just overheat your shields and your propulsion modules and just burn back to the gate and jump. I hate this timer. <laughs> before I can jump to another ship, but kind of makes sense, right? Uh, let's change our name. Epi or something. On dock. And let's go to Lamadent. So it was O2. That was the first gate. Let's see a caracal. Let's see if he's gonna follow us or something. He looks like he was aligning to. gonna be getting into this kind of range as well so yeah looks like there's nothing on the gate that's good news and here's our perch so nothing on the gate the gate is clear Let's warp to the gate. 
then jump into Lamadent. We were looking for a lava planet, so the lava planet in Lamadent. Go ahead and jump in. We also need to make a safe spot in there. Okay, nothing on the gate, great, the sun is way too close, so let's look for a planet, plasma, lava, this is our planet that we're looking for, but let's first make a safe spot while warping towards this baron, watching our distance here, let's hit control B, and then we'll submit when we have like a 2 AU distance there we go so we're gonna name this uh, safe submit and where's our lava plant I can find it from the agency I guess just warp to location I think I can also drop my, let's see, view planetary production. Yeah, I can drop actually my command center from here. So let's just do that. Click on it and put it on the planet. Then let's also upgrade it. We have CCU4, so we can do level 4 upgrade on it. It's 4.2 mil. Let's upgrade this and submit. And now we can go back into HiSec and start working on this, right? This, by the way, is a customs office. Let's see who owns the customs office. This corp and the tax rate is 5%. I'm gonna, I guess if I'm here, I'm, let's go ahead and check um, on this one. So info, tax rate, still 5%. Not a bad tax, I guess. But now we are going back into high sec, so O2 and let's stock our ship up I guess in the boundless creation factory and let us set up our lava planet so view and we are looking for consumer electronics right heavy metals and non CS crystals so let's go into scan mode what happened oh i clicked on a uh, structure okay no big deal let's uh, remove this yep so heavy metals and let's scan this is our command center over here so plenty of heavy metals spread around the planet and let's also look for a good uh, non-CS crystals pocket. By the looks of things, that's quite concentrated over there. So what I want to do now is find the heavy metals pocket near the non-CS crystals one. So the non-CS is here, heavy metals, that's something around here. Let's see, lava extractor control unit basically the red circle uh, the, sorry not the red circle the, the white circle around our uh, plus sign over here is the range uh, that I can drag the, that I can extend my um, extractor heads that's down to the command center upgrades level 4 uh, if you expand that to level 5 you'll have a, in an even higher range so I just want to catch a bit of the uh, white spot because that's where most of the resource is in this hot spot that's where the highest concentration is so I'm gonna place it somewhere over here like this I want to keep everything as close as possible so my links aren't that long so that's the heavy metals and the non-CS is over here so 
let's build another extractor and let's grab some of that white as well so we're gonna be something like here it is kind of long but we'll see what we end up with we're also gonna need two basic industry facilities to transform the raw materials into what it takes to build the consumer electronics as close as possible to the extractor head so the link is as short as possible let's also create links between these and submit and we also need a advanced facility let's put it in the middle and a launch pad this is a lazy man's setup not a lot of uh, uh, tinkering going on but yeah i just want to give you guys a taste for uh, pi and if you think it's an activity that you want to do by all means uh, we can look into it study it together and uh, improve on it i guess so yeah i'm happy on the amount of resources that have been used it's 1.1 million to uh, submit all these changes so let's do that and back to our scan this is non-cs so let's start extracting non-cs click on the extractor control unit install extraction program non-cs crystals over here let's do a 24 hour a one day program right let's look for let's see four doesn't take up quite a lot maybe we can go up to six mm, yeah i think we can go up to six oh let's see we can extend you see the range so that's how long i can extend my um, my extractor heads looks like it's gathering good resources because we are in the white zone on most of them okay you don't want to overlap these because they will uh, basically extract from the same area and you're going to lose a bit of efficiency and this one over here and that's our non-cs crystals getting extracted right now into our extractor control unit now let's go to our basic uh, facility and let's see what do we need to get from the nonsense crystals that is chiro structures so select the uh, lava basic industry facilities and chiro structures basically you're installing a schematic you're telling the facility what to make with the resources that it's getting so Let's go ahead and install shadow structures. Let's submit everything that we've done so far because we're happy with it. And now let's start routing the products. Create route. We're probably going to have a bit of overspill on this. I don't know. Yeah. Going to have some overspill. I'm gonna see at the end if I have enough um, power grid uh, left. Maybe I will do something like a couple of storage facilities to, to gather the overspill. But bear with me. Let's first uh, look at routing everything into our basic facility. And now you've noticed it's not no longer has a red circle, so it's working. This one has a red circle because the material needs to be routed into the advanced facility. So, let's see. We were looking to make consumer electronics, right? Let's install the schematic. First and foremost, let's submit. And let's start routing these 20 channel structures over here. Create route. And there you go. Now this one's work working as well. This is is red though because it's missing the other half of the resources which is heavy metals right so let's set up the heavy metals extraction heavy 
metals. There we go. Let's see. Six heads. Not looking too bad. 24 hours. And let's move the heads into the white. Okay, and we're happy with that. So let's submit and now let's route program not active. Okay, why not? What happened? What did I do? Heavy metals. Oh, I didn't hit start extraction. Okay, no problem. Everything's still in position. All right, start extraction. So yeah, now it tells us we're not routed. So let's start routing. Oh, I forgot to do the schematics, so heavy metals needs to be turned into toxic metals. Okay, let's install the schematic. Toxic metals, install. Alright, so now we can actually route. quite a click fest but it is what it is okay everything is routed let's go ahead and submit and now we are going to route the toxic metals into our advanced facilities and yeah this is still red because our consumer electronics need to be routed into the launch pad and now everything is up and running I still have some uh, power over here so yeah what I can do is also I think I can build a couple of uh, storage facilities let's see close to these so the links are short yeah one and two I'm committing sacrilege right now I'm no longer doing lazy <laughs> PI I guess but yeah uh, let's take a look at the routes because if you notice the current cycle output is uh, 8955 units but this um, will take around 3000 resources at a time I think so what I'm going to do is uh, link these for now like this and submit and I can um, stop these routes and route this stuff into the storage facility that way we might actually end up streamlining our process even better I'm still learning about this, so please bear with me. It's still a new topic for me as well. I'm trying to figure out ways to optimize production. And yeah, that's kind of how you set it up. If you don't want these, if you don't have enough power grid for these, uh, the, the first steps that I did, did without the storage facilities are more than enough uh, for you to generate some uh, passive income and uh, as a bit of a bonus so let's go and hit submit first and foremost so we don't do any mistakes over here on our planet extraction has started right so we're gonna get stuff in okay as a bit of a bonus let's go because I, I have another plant doing some extraction 
it already has some uh, construction blocks on it so I want to go over there and see how it's doing it's in low sec again so I want to double check if my uh, idea with the storage facilities is a good one or not it's on a 24 hour uh, schedule uh, I think it's done about maybe 14 hours or something like that from its schedule and by the way I'm going from heck to metaverse so let's check over here in uh, right in if gate check what's up in metaverse see if there's any kills at any of the gates on our route so looks like no pvp activity i also need to set up matabur with a uh, perch and a safe but yeah i'm not gonna do that right now i'm going there because uh, i want to show you guys how you pick up your stuff from a planet Because yeah, I could tinker around uh, so I can look at the planet from yeah anywhere in space, right? This is the Lamadan planet, this is the Matabur planet, and where's my stuff? There it is. So let's see how is it doing. Yeah, it's still working. The storage facilities though are um, this actually looks better. By the way, you should aim for uh, something looking like this the links are short but this is basically down to how you find the resources i found my resources my pockets close to one uh, one another so it allowed me to go for this uh, kind of a honeycomb formation and uh, yeah that's basically what you're going to be looking for so what i'm going to do here with uh, with the overspell i'm going to decide uh, based on uh, when the entire uh, process is over so uh, within the next 12 hours or 10 hours or something like that i will decide uh, if it has been effective enough and uh, i'll probably end up either routing from the storage facilities to the um, industry facilities right so they will make more stuff maybe i don't know or I'll route the overspill straight into the launch pad and uh, pick up the raw resources from the launch pad. Still a noob at this, basically. So, yeah, still figuring out uh, information about how to optimize uh, your planet in planetary interaction. But the basic setup, the lazy setup, is without these uh, storage facilities, right? Because you might not have command center upgrades level 4 so you might not be actually able to fit up um, the storage facilities that i've added here and let's gather our resources let's access this we have 65 construction blocks drag them in here the, co the tax is going to be 30,000 ISK, so this POCO is owned by TLN, it has a 7% tax on it, I guess it's alright, and yeah, after we've uh, put stuff from the launch pad into the orbital customs office, we have to hit transfer, it will be here, then we open up this, go to our hold, our planetary commodities hold, we drag the stuff in here and there it is it's in our ship and this is half of a cycle the other half is still going to be produced right let's get out of here i guess back into high sec and there we go that's how you set up your planetary interaction that's I guess a look into the process of uh, extracting resources out of a planet. I am still uh, learning about this, so yeah. What I've done is a basic uh, tier 2 setup, but 
if you guys want to, to help me out and uh, if you want to learn together i'm always open for discussions uh, we can like go into more advanced stuff like tier 3 production with the factory planet so if you want to see a clip on that we can do one uh, we can work on one so let me know in an email or in the comments if you have any questions or uh, or stuff like that regarding the clip and regarding pi i will do my best to help you out with the process but for now uh, that will be it in terms of planetary interaction so fry smart take care alex out <laughs>